For many, celebrating Dr. King's legacy is all about giving back. Reg Chapman is in our newsroom right now with more on that. Hi, Reg. How are you doing, Amelia? Many parts of North Minneapolis actually sit in a food desert. For some, they have to walk or bus miles in order to find fresh fruits and veggies. On the day we celebrate Dr. King's legacy, a community comes together to give and help its own while teaching the next generation social responsibility. The food came by the truckload. 60,000 pounds of fresh produce, breads and meats, all to be given away. It feels good to know that you're a part of something that's making a difference for so many people. Jamil Jackson is just one of Coach Larry McKenzie's student athletes from North High's basketball team. The team is a big part of this volunteer effort. I just need all these boxes unloaded and placed on this table, please. Volunteer Kenya McKnight Hod says this day of service is just as important for the young people helping as it is for those who receive. We're teaching them about social responsibility. There's no criterion. If you, you need help, you need food, you come. Imam Makram el says this food giveaway is what's needed in a community plagued by disparities. From food security to housing, education, a lot of other things here too. This is just a way for us to, to give back and to, to really, on a day where we're honoring such a legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Partnering with Harvest Foods, El Maun, North High, and other community groups makes all this possible. People from all faiths make up the volunteers. All say serving others is what their faith tells them to do. We're not here to do anything but to serve and serve humanity, you know, regardless of faith, tradition, regardless of ethnicity, uh, social, economic status. As folks line up to get what is provided, those who volunteer look happy to be giving back. We recognize the need. We may not be able to do anything directly ourselves in the way we want to, but, but we can work through big opportunities like this to help give back. Last time when we did it, um, we had people dropping off food. We had, we had, I think, a waiting list of more than 20 volunteers. And so it says a lot about our humanity. Now, families standing in line will also have opportunities to speak to people about other issues they may face. Community groups with resources are walking that line and are on hand to help. Imam El Amin says this day of service will extend beyond the food giveaway today, Amelia. It's pretty wonderful to see, Reg. Yes, it is. Thank you.